Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. The Lions' focus is front and center as he makes his way to the ring right now. His ring walk is one of those ring walks where you realize how attentive this fighter is. This is a guy who has his eye on the prize and nothing will distract him. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Fifteen rounds scheduled here in this much We are underway with round number one. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Tall guy versus short guy here tonight in front of us. Teddy, why does it seem so that some tall fighters don't necessarily fight tall? Because, Joe, it takes great discipline to stay on the outside. You look at him, you say, hey, you're tall. I wish I was tall like that. But now it takes restraint, control to stay in those quarters and make sure you don't give in and allow the shorter guy to get close. Able to land the jab. The Lions' knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is the block. He did it there well. <laughs> Able to cover up that gut. The Lions left, landing well. as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. 90 seconds to go here in this round. I shake it off! Body shot, the left hand. well up top he got hit right there but he also gave one solid effort by the lion well placed hook now look at him he does not look good on the back end of that hook coming home Oh, he's in bad shape here. He's stunned, and he's wobbly. The only thing he has going for him is he's not a fighter that uses his legs anyway, and you can't use him right now. He's a guy that likes to move his head. He's got to start doing that. Try to cement those feet down the best he can and get some head movement. All right, cut him off.
You're fighting his rhythm, okay? Don't fight his fight. All we need is water up there, that's it. You don't need that, I'll throw that away. He looks anxious and ready to get underway here. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. He missed with that headshot. Able to show you his blocking ability. Gets rid of that body shot. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Committing to the work downstairs, he puts forth the right hand. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's... Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body, and he figures that he's going to try to move on him, so starts doing it early on, and later on, he's going to have a guy in front of him. Nice work with the left hand. Halfway through round number two. Oh, what an uppercut. The Lions' punch didn't come close. Good looking jab there. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Oh, he is absolutely affected by that right hand. Never saw it coming. Worst kind of right hand you can catch. He should tie up here. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Right to the belt line. Lions missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Very nice defensive guard. We count down the final moments of this round. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bit. He's confident. All right. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. punch by the lion able to land another power shot early on here teddy does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace no, i don't think so if he keeps at this pace he's not going to be around to worry <laughs> the lion's just punching air that time his opponent was able to get out of the way
Coming to the halfway point of this third round. The Lions' right hand scores well that time. hit but he gives it right back right hand downstairs able to dismiss that body shot The hook came home with ease. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Listen, you need to move your head from side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. Help yourself. Still win this one. The Lions out in front as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight, but they're still in a mode of just feeling each other out. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. And now you can see him utilizing the jab. You know, a lot of times you see a guy on the outside bouncing around, staying away. You understand the use of a jab. But when you're coming forward, you have to come forward with a cover. And that jab, that's the cover. Relax. Good defensive skill. Nice one. A well-placed left hand up top. Protecting his head well with his guard. Use the jab! The Lions on the wrong end of a destructive uppercut. Teddy, is it raw skill? Is it technique? What's the answer for him? Why is he missing so many punches and tiring himself out here? He's forgetting about the idea. The idea that it's not enough just to throw a punch. You have to have a plan to land it. You know, you have to have a missile to get it to the target. Otherwise, what does it do? Just blows up, makes a hole in the ground, and when it rains, guess what? You go swimming. He's going to go swimming later. Beat him in the, punch. the Lions showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Keep doing what you're doing. Teddy, early on here, you cannot stress enough how much good comes from going to the body. And you can't stress how many times you heard your parents tell you as a kid, put that chain into the piggy bank because it's going to add up. Well, body punches add up. Hands up. Keep moving. Fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Nice mousetrap there, he let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. Able to get rid of that one. 
Final 10 seconds. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He's going to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Take a deep breath and relax. You don't need that. No, throw that away. Round number five has arrived. The Lions in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. just wasting away some time with that clinch. Double up on your punches. And just grabbing on to his opponent. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Halfway into round number five here. Good step back counter punch there. And he just holds on there. <laughs> Trying to go downstairs, but off target. He's all over the place. I mean, he's missing punches. Yeah, he's throwing punches, but he's missing just about everything he throws. Well, we look up top. You know, we look at the punches going array. They're going left, they're going right, they're going all over the place. But look downstairs. His feet are not set. He's falling all over the place. And guess what? The punches follow where his feet are. The Lions movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. The Lions tagged by that powerful hook. This round is in the books, and it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit, physically and mentally. The other guy is starting to impose himself on him. to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Now 
not getting it done with that straight right hand. Nice work, nice work. Hit by a counter punch there. Watch the hook. Looking good. Side to side. Move your head. Halfway through round six. Lions making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Boom, left hand comes home. Unable to steady himself right now after being stunned. The Lions making this so that it's becoming a very frustrating night for his opponent. I mean, when your defense is that sharp it can just drive your opponent crazy yeah it can first of all it can start to break Good down you know we always look at the physical down. things in life and anything you know you you're pounding a guy and you're gonna break the guy down hey what? if you're just smart and you're slick like this guy and you're making a guy miss you start to break him down he's breaking the guy down that way jump on him oh keep your feet moving Working our way towards the bell, last 10 seconds of the sixth. He just up. Now here's a perfect example of where you can actually see confidence growing in the fight. He was able to stun his man in that last round, and you just get a sense that he's a bigger, better fighter than he was before. I agree with you, Joe. You, it's the accumulation of damage that's starting to get to him right now. Stay away from that power here, okay? Keep circling away from that power here. I need you to we keep moving side to side, all right? Move. All right. Don't let him get that power yeah, shot. Now listen, you yeah, need, need to keep that. moving okay, out there as soon as you stop. I got and we are back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Hey, 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 let's go! Block. Back to the body. Goes up top with a right hand. The Lions well off the mark that time. Halfway through the seventh round. Good work. 
You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Blocks that punch. with the straight right hand. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Just keep working and this is your fight. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Don't get lazy. You're winning this fight. You need to capitalize on his mistakes, okay? I want to see that counter hook make him pay for his mistakes. So, it's time. He's got nothing left, okay? Seven rounds in the book so far. We look at Teddy's scorecard. The Lions in good shape. He is leading on Teddy's scorecard, but a lot of action still to come. This is where things can change halfway through a fight. Yeah, this could be a danger zone. You know, the danger zones, a lot of people, whatever they do, they see them, you know, late in a fight or maybe very early in a fight. In the middle part, they think they're past that. On, you're not past up. that. You stop doing what you're doing, and this can turn on you very fast. <laughs> well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Locks it away. Pace yourself. One, two, one, two. The Lions' timing with his head movement has been ideal. We have not seen his opponent being able to land anything clean up top tonight. No, because his opponent is not making the... He is not in good shape. Big shot. Oh, right to the gut and right to the ground he goes. a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Nice work doubling up that jab. Lions defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Can you believe that? What a change in momentum. There it is. Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy.
covers up nicely and gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Just what he needed, the bell to end that round. He was taking a lot of punishment there. Well, if he hit a bad driver, you know, he was a golfer. You say he has to have a short memory. Forget about it, there's another hole coming up. Well, you have to have a short memory right here as a fighter. The only thing is, you better get some advice to go out there because you don't want to hit that fairway the same way. Deep breath. Put some water. You good? You all right? Breathe. Real good sign for him right here. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. fight the Lions opponent is floored a knockout victory boy was that impressive That's what you want to see, a guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us.